If you like to ski, you know it's really hard to find time to get up to the mountains, or maybe you don't live where it snows. Perhaps you'd like to talk to the people at Squeal who have something really exciting for the, the, uh, the people who like to ski. I'm talking to Joseph Daharel here from Squeal. What is this product we're looking at here? Thank you. Yeah, uh, it's the world's first Ultiman electric ski. Uh, so it's born from a passion for skiing and engineering expertise. And we spent like the last five years to developing a product that redefine the boundaries of mobility. So um, this is a video and audio podcast. So I'm going to describe what we're looking like at. They look like giant roller skates. Yeah, But exactly. it's, it's two flat platforms with wheels, small wheels at either end, and then a clamp that clamps your foot into it. We've got lights on the front and the back. And you're saying this is an electric ski. Exactly. I know it's like a world, but we have like a center of gravity uh, very lower than a roller blade. So we have like very stable when you use it. We have like a one engine in each wheel. So it's like very powerful. You can go up to uh, 50 miles per hour. How fast? Five zero, 50 miles per hour. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. The idea is not to go as fast, but uh, we need a lot of couple to go on the sand, on the mountain because we love to use it in the beach, you know, it's like a sensation of freedom, just really amazing. So how does it give you the sensation of skiing that's different, that's somehow different than rollerblading? It's the first pattern that we create, like a front, si front pivot system, which first really represents the same feel as traditional skiing. So, so he's turning the wheel and it's kind of rotating exactly. in a lot of different positions. You know, exactly like, with the real ski, so you have just to curve, but for the acceleration on the brake, you have the handle, in the UN, so you accelerate, you break. Okay, so that's just a handheld thing exactly. that you've got. he's got in his hand that's got a... This is a pattern too, because when you finish to use it, you just lock it and you have a telescopic handle for an easy transport. Okay, so I've got to describe that to the audio listeners. He was holding something, lo looks like a controller like for a uh, VR headset. Yeah. It's kind of what it looks like that loops around your hand and he had a little yeah. dial where he's dialing the acceleration. And then he popped it in between the two uh, skis and then pulled out a telescopic handle and that's how you carry these. Exactly. Wow. How much do these weigh? Um, the cost? Uh, the weight first. Ah, the weight, okay, it's 12.5 uh, kilo. So it's uh, just like uh, six kilo in each feet. So you know it's exactly the same way of uh, traditional skiing with the boots on the ski. Oh, okay. So now the, the entire platform where your foot goes, uh, that's got a lot of friction on it there, that pops out and that's the battery? Exactly. You have uh, one battery in each bit. Uh, you can travel uh, 30 kilometers at a steady speed of 25 kilometers per hour. Not in sand. No, yeah, it's sand too, but it uh, depends on your weight. Slow down. Yeah, right, right. right. <laughs> But we have a um, removable battery, so if you want to make more than 30 kilometers, you can change it in just five seconds. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we've watched while we've been doing the interview, one of the other gentlemen has just been popping the batteries in and out and in and out as we're talking. So, yeah, it's obviously very easy to do. When is this product expected to be available? Uh, this morning. We launched the crowdfunding campaign this morning on the Indiegogo, and we do like 33% uh, off for the 15 first backer. So okay. I even think everyone to support us. <laughs> and how, mu how much is it going to cost? The real cost uh, retailer is uh, 2400 but uh, for now in the campaign crowdfunding, it's uh, 1600 okay. So very big discount. Get, get, in, get in early on Indiegogo, huh? Yeah, exactly. So where would people go to find out more about Squeal? Tell me. Where would people go to find out more about Squeal? Uh, you can go on the website, on the social media. Or What's the website? Uh, the website is squeal.com. So that's S-K-W-H-E-E-L dot com. Perfect. All right. Thank you very much. This was really interesting. It looks fun. Thank you, too.